Yeah. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love, to Astro Phoenix, flying into the moment yet again and radiating love as always. And welcome, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising, or for anybody who just wants to hang out with the Virgo tribe, the fairies of the Zodiac. <laughs> The fairies of the Zodiac, welcome to your March 2019 report. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. And let's see what this month has in store for you all. First card that we have is the King of Swords. We are getting suit cards for, well, we're getting court cards for pretty much everyone. The King of Swords in reverse is saying that it's almost like you want, when, I, when I'm getting these sword cards, when I'm getting the suit of swords, and I've been getting a lot of those, I've been feeling, and I've been getting the sense of no hard feelings. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. The king of swords could be speaking to an air sign in your life. It could be speaking to a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius that you're probably not really necessarily seeing eye to eye with. Your ruling planet, Mercury, is about to go retrograde in Pisces. Your opposite sign. So this definitely could be someone who is in a relationship with you. Either a friend or a colleague or a romantic partner, a um, business partner. That you're not necessarily going to be seeing eye to eye. Let's see what else is going on this. We have your card. We have the Hermit. So you are definitely, in many ways, kind of holding your ground and kind of sticking to your guns. But it's going to be like, you're going to want to tell this person what's up and what's the truth and stuff but it's gonna be like you're gonna tell them through your absence you're gonna tell them through your reclusiveness you're gonna kinda of like just go back into yourself and this is a very natural response for you with mercury going retrograde in your seventh house so there may be individuals in your life or even situations or circumstances that are gonna be kinda of calling out to you be like yo Virgo where are you at Virgo, where are you at? Virgo, where are you at? We don't even see you. Tell me, are you even on the map? Most of you all will not know that reference. That's a very particular reference um, dealing with high school football. <laughs> at least, you know, like my high school and another high school that was our rival. But that's going to be kind of the energy. People are going to be looking for Virgos like, yo, Virgo, where are you at? Virgo, where are you at? And it's almost going to be like, I don't want to necessarily, it's going to be like this. You're going to be having this mentality of, if I have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's actually not a bad position to take at all. Your final card that we have is the strength card in reverse. This is speaking to you finding your inner strength, your inner core, your inner wisdom. The strength card in reverse is not saying that you're weak. It's saying that instead of, outwardly expressing the strength you're going to be expressing the strength inward i like to think of any cards that are reverse it's speaking to uh it's kind of like a retrograde planet where it's turned inward so even this king of swords energy since it's reversed and also the strength card is reversed it's going to be like this person or this individual or the circumstance is going to kind of be wanting to use force to try and get you to see their position or use force they're going to try and force their way into your life. They're going to try and force your way into your cave. They're going to try and force your way into your happy place. This is where I'm feeling you're going to need to draw the line. It might not necessarily be that you are disagreeing on a particular thing. This could just mean that you are going to use this month to kind of go within. And since you're going to be kind of attracting a little bit of that energy from people, situations, and circumstances, they're going to be kind of wanting to force their way into your bubble. And this is probably the energy of that King of Swords, where it's going to be like, no hard feelings, I'm just taking some me time. I'm just taking some me time to kind of gather my resources, to gather my thoughts, to gather my energy, so I can make the best possible decision. And your clarity card that we have is the Nine of Wands. So, it's like you're preparing for something. This card and the Seven of Wands are pretty um, similar, and I like how they uh, do them in this deck because it both it shows them both like preparing for something. But what's interesting about this is that these wands are kind of coming up. It it looks like the sky, or the it looks like the ocean in many ways. Yeah, it looks like the ocean, like these wands are coming up out of the ocean, and she's standing on this middle one, and then she's holding the ninth one with this 
fire elemental salamander around her. So it's almost like, Virgo, you're having to retreat because you're preparing for something. You're preparing for something that's coming. You are preparing for this new life. You're preparing for this new you that's coming into fruition. And maybe people aren't necessarily getting that. That's why you're kind of being the hermit. That's why you're going to kind of go within. That's why you're going to kind of become a bit of a recluse, you know. But the Nine of Wands here as the Clarity card is saying that, you know, what you're preparing for is not necessarily a battle, it's not necessarily a confrontation, but you are going to be in many ways standing your ground. And you're going to be standing your ground of like, yo, this is my space. I need to protect my space this month. I need to protect my space this month because it's going to be a very, very important month for protecting your space. And based off of how well you do so, it's going to really determine how this year is going to go. The sun will move into Aries eventually, which, you know, for you, is the 8th house. So, you are already sort of getting, you know, these premonitions of this deep transformation that you're about to go through. Whenever the sun moves into Aries, Virgos go through this deep transformation. Because you got to think about it. Virgo rules reality. When the sun shifts into Aries, it's the new astrological year. And Aries is the persona, it's the ego. So everyone's going to be acting differently. And based off of the way that everyone's acting, reality has to shift. That's why the eighth, that's why the eighth house of Virgo is this energy. Because they have to shift. They, and they have to hold space for this shifting reality. They have to hold space for the world and for the collective that is shifting. So this is a naturally reclusive time for you because it's like you're having to dive deep into yourself so you can transform all these areas in your life, all these pockets and crevices of your consciousness that you have been ignoring and not necessarily. It's almost going to be like the reflection of people trying to force their way into your bubble is a reflection in many ways of you actually penetrating these deeper these deeper bubbles within you and these deeper pockets of your consciousness and it's going to be interesting because while you're going to be wanting to protect your space it's like these inner bubbles are going to want to be protecting their space you kind of want to go at this with a sense of you want to go at this with a sense the first thing i heard was calm because it's almost going to be like, instead of preparing for battle and these aspects of you, that you're going to be trying to penetrate their bubble so you can work things out. So you, we can actually, so you can actually set the vibration of this new world, this new reality for the next astrological year. It's going to, it's going to be like you're going to need a sense of peace, a sense of calm. When I'm thinking of the Hermit even, I'm thinking of like you might be going to some deep meditation this month. And it's going to be through this meditation, through this calm, through this calm approach, instead of forcing your way in, that in many ways, these deeper aspects of yourself, they're just going to allow you in. And then you're going to make the necessary changes that you need to make. That is it for your reading, Virgo. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you like a personal reading with me, beloved, you can follow the link in the description below to astrophoenix.com. And as always, my beautiful brothers and sisters, always remember to keep moving forward, to stay focused, and... Yahoo! Smile often.